Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League 2 predictions. League 2, because of the weather we've had, um, I think it's mostly Thursday, Friday, a couple of games in League 2 got called off. Um, but there's still games that went ahead and at this minute in time there still will be games for all teams in League 2 hopefully for the up and coming weekend. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get to a thousand subs coming the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that um, is by letting people know about my channel, sharing my videos. Um, let's see if we can do that together. And there will be a special video once that goal is reached. How long it takes, but up to you guys. Um, but let's see if we can do it do, uh, before the end of the season, because... It make more sense if it's this side or, you know, this season and another the new side. And that come clear in that video why I've been saying that. But anyway, guys, you know what I do. So you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'll talk about is Bradford versus Exeter. Exeter did play 1-4-0 over Plymouth. Um, great day for... Um, Exeter, uh, I think I'll put a draw on that one, um, but you know, as I said, great three points for Exeter, the Bradford game did get called off against Macclesfield, um, mortal on pitch, as I said, there's about, I think there's three games overall that's been called off in the previous weekend for League 2, um, I know one of the championship games were affected as well, so, it's not the only league effects by the weather, um, but as I said, great uh, three points for Exeter. Um, you know, beating Plymouth 4-0 at home. Probably a bit expected um, overall. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Cambridge versus Crawley. Crawley losing 4-0 at home to Swindon Town. Um, disappointing day for Crawley in all circumstances. Um, Cambridge loses 2 0 away from home to Northampton Town. Great, um, great three points for Northampton Town. Great day out for the Swindon Town fans. Disappointing day for Crawley, um, if I'm all honest. I mean, uh, you know, you've got. Lights of Crawley, uh, I think I can't remember how I worked with that result, but um, you know, disappointing day for Crawley fans like all all round. Um, disappointing day for Cambridge fans. Uh, you know, fair play to Northampton Town and fair play to Swindon Town, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Cambridge win. My next one is Carlisle versus Macclesfield. Macclesfield was one of the games that did get called off. Um, Carlisle drawing 1-1 away from home to Lake Norian. Great point for late, um, for Carlisle, I personally think. Um, you know, great point for Lake Norian as well, but I'll get more down to that when I speak about the Lake Norian um, prediction. But as I said, that Macclesfield game got called off. I was supposed to play Bradford uh, at home. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Cheltenham Town versus Forest Green. Cheltenham Town game postponed. I uh, supposed to play Grimsby away from home. Forest Green um, game got called off as well. Um, so both games called off. Nothing to talk about for the, for this game. Um, as I've just stated, both games were called off, both to a water log pitch. Um, this sort of worries me. Um, obviously, we can't tell whether we, you know, gonna have. Um, but especially during the Christmas period, where the temperature just drop a lot. Um, so this Christmas period, I think it's going to be a real test for the pitches of League 2, League 1 and possible some of the championship as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. 
The next one is Crew Alexandra. Crew Alexandra, sorry. Um, I know I'm mispronouncing that name. I do apologise. I do try my best. Um, and they go up against Port Vale. Um, Port Vale nil nil at home to Oldham. Crew Alexander game called off due to play Forest Green. Um, so you know, as I, was, I can only talk about Port Vale game. Um, nil nil scoreline at home against Oldham. You know, probably a fair result overall. Uh, I can't tell you at this present time who do I think the point the points gonna be more worthy to. Um, it's so tight in the leagues this year. League two, League one, Championship and Premier League. This is you know a real tight year for all the football tables, um, which makes it more interesting for me to do, and it also makes makes it more interesting to watch as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 crew win. My next one is Mansfield versus Colchester. Mansfield losing one, uh, sorry, winning 2 1 at away to Walsall. Great three points for Mansfield. Colchester beating Lake Norian 3, uh, not Lake Norian. Colchester beating Newport County 3 1 at home. Great three points for Colchester. Great um, three points for Macclesfield. Sorry, Mansfield. Um, but, you know, I think at this present time, the three points probably be more worth to Mansfield, especially where they are. Um, Colchester, you know, great three points for them as well. You know, it could be fatal for them come the end of the season. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 2 Colchester win. My next one is Morecambe versus Lake Norian. Lake Norian uh, drawing at home 1 1. Morecambe losing 1 0 away from home against Stevenage. Um, as I said, I want to speak more about that um, Lake Norian um, game. But this time I want to speak about it on the Lake Norian point of view. Um, if, because you know how I do this, so um, I think it's a great point for Lake Norian. If you're a Lake Norian fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but as I said, I think it's a great point. Could be fight will come the end of the season. We've got a busy Christmas period coming up as we're doing all English, all the EFL, and that includes the Premier League. Um, you know, so I think that point. Might just keep you up, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 late Norian win. My next one is Newport County versus Salford. Newport County loses 3 1 away from home to Colchester. Salford 1 1 um, at home to Scunthorpe. Um, let's talk about, um, the Newport one first. I think I want to do it this way. Um, disappointing day for Newport. Um, you know, with the lights of how well I know I can do. Um, the only real crumb of comfort I could take out of that Newport result is the fact that, um, you know, they're away from home. Salford, 1-1 um, one, one at home to Scunthorpe. Probably a good point for Salford. Don't forget, they're newly promoted to the Football League. First time ever into the Football League. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Newport County win. My next one is Oldham versus Northampton Town. 
Hold them, nil nil away to Port Vale. Northampton Town beating North, uh, Northampton Town beating Cambridge United 2 0. Um, great three points for Northampton. A point that could uh, be worth a lot to hold them come the end of the season. Um, as I've just said, we're going to have to see where we are at the end of this Christmas period. That is. You know, approaching fast. So it's you know, it's, as I said, such a close league um, overall. But as far as this result goes, I go for a two 0 Northampton Town win. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Grimsby Town. Grimsby Town game postponed due to play Chatham Town at home. Plymouth Argyle loses 4 0 to Exeter away from home. Disappointing day for Plymouth. Can't speak about the Grimsby game, so I'm just going to give you the result. And I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Stevenage. Scunthorpe beating Morecambe at home 1 0. And uh, Scunthorpe 1 1 away to Salford City. Great point. For Scunthorpe, um, you know, with the lights of where they are, and um, great three points for Stevenage, um, you know, obviously where the two teams are, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one old scoreline for that one as well. My last one for this weekend is Swindon Town versus Walsall. Walsall losing at home 2-1 to Mansfield. Uh, Swindon Town beating Crawley Town away from home 4 0. Um, fair play to um, Swindon Town for that result. Great three points. Obviously, a great day out for the fans as well. Um, disappointed day for Walsall. Uh, you know, Walsall seem to be really struggling at this present time. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Swindon Town win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.